Praise the Lord. We give God all the glory. Papa, may your name alone be exalted. We thank you for the gift of another beautiful day. And we pray the Lord Jesus, please have your way in our meeting today too. Thank you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus for ushering us into this beautiful month. We pray the Lord you use us, O oh God, for your own service in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We thank God so much for the gifts that he has given unto us, who is Jesus Christ. Thank you all also for helping us celebrate our wedding anniversary. We say, God bless you all. God bless you. May the Lord grant you all the desires of your heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren in the Lord, we'll take our devotional reading today from Isaiah chapter 47, the verses 1 to 4. And it reads, <clears throat> Come down, virgin daughter of Babylon, and sit in the dust. For your days of sitting on the throne have ended. A daughter of Babylonia, never again will you be the lovely princess, tender and delicate. Take heavy milestones and grind flour. Remove your veil and strip off your robe. Expose yourself to public view. You will be naked and burdened with shame. I will take vengeance against you without pity. A redeemer, whose name is the Lord of heaven's armies, is the host, is the Holy One of Israel. Brethren, these words this morning are very, very strong. And God was so annoyed, was angry with the Babylonian, the Babylonians. And we see here that Babylon was like an evil queen of our days they kill they abuse they steal and babylon did whatever he she desired but god is telling us that he holds the key of life in his hands god is no respect of person although he loves the sinner he hates sin so if today people can turn their backs onto God and say that God does not exist, that say that there is no God, God becomes so angry because he has created us in his own image and he wants us to enjoy the beautiful things that he has made for us. He mentioned his name unto us, but many have turned their back unto him. It does not matter if you have accepted Jesus, but if you are still even if you have accepted Jesus and you are still living in sin, God is a jealous God. God is not interested in people who do not know their left and their right, but God is interested in people who accept Him and allow Him to take control of His life. Remember that He says that it is not anyone who call me Lord, Lord who will enter into the kingdom of heaven. But anyone who does the will of my heavenly father. Brethren in the Lord, Israel sinned against God so many times, and he also turned his back unto them. God is no respecter of persons. And just like he punished Babylon, he punished Israel too. We may be saved but not partake in greater blessings in eternity like we could have experienced. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, that is what I'm saying. It is so serious that you will be entering into the house of God. It is so serious that you will go and come without even understanding who God is, without knowing who God is. We have to know who God is. God is is the creator of the whole universe. God created marriage. God created human beings in his own image. God created everything through his word. By the power of his word, he created everything. 
and that is why god says that nothing was created that was created outside of the word and the word is jesus so if we want to have life and have an abundance we have to make jesus our lord and our personal savior and this is when we can see the glory of god we cannot do anything without god may the lord help us to understand him and cling unto him as our lord our master are all in all god richly bless you have a free